Good afternoon. Around, this is Around the House with Kay and Tom. Always trying something new. My sister from North Carolina has called just raving about this and wanted me to try it. So I just thought I would try it and let you see what happens. You take center cut pork chops or you really need the thicker ones. It doesn't have to be center cut. I don't guess. I just, I got the center cut ones. You'll need a half a cup of ketchup, half a cup of Coke, salt and pepper, and a fourth a cup brown sugar. And from the way she talks, this is really going to be simple. So we shall see real quick. I have got a casserole dish. We're going to put this in the casserole and we're going to bake it at 350 for one hour. You do not cover. Okay. Alright, we've got three pork chops. We're going to take a half a cup of ketchup. We're going to take a half a cup of just Coke. I really didn't know for the one little can would be enough, so let's just see. Matter of fact, it didn't even take all of that. A half a cup of Coke and mix it together. A little bit of salt and pepper, not much. I very seldom salt anything. And again, this is Around the House with Kay and Tom. Please subscribe. Give me your comments. So we're going to pour this over our pork chops. Today I'm going to be baking those, these in the Ninja XL. So we shall see how it turns out. I was really concerned with it making sure it had enough sauce to cover it, but it looks like it sure did. And take a fourth a cup a brown sugar and just sprinkle on the top and that's all there is to it so what we're going to do now is we're going to put it in our Ninji XL cooker we're going to mash the start button we are going to take the function and we're going to bring it down to bake. I'm going to do it for three, 350 so I need to bring this down a little bit. Whoops. Okay. And we're going to cook it for one hour. But I'm going to put it for like six, uh, an hour and five minutes and let's get it where it will preheat. Hope you can see this. I put it on bake. 350 for an hour and five minutes. And it is now preheating. It should be preheated by the time it hits an hour. Alright, this has now been cooking for 30 minutes. And it's just a bubbling. I hope you can see that just a bubbling away so we'll let it cook for 30 more minutes and we'll give it a try well I've got a 1 minute and 24 23 seconds 
and this is supposed to be done and just as soon as it gets down to and cuts off we're going to take it out and give it a try it really looks good so we'll take just a few more seconds we're counting down 59 58 be through in just a moment and again around the house with Kay and Tom please subscribe give me your comments come back to see me leave me a message you know they say a watch clock no a watch pot never boils well a watch clock takes forever to tick down too three two one cut off okay we shall see all right I'm gonna take it out it looks good let's just see how easy it is to cut well, it definitely looks done very tender and let's just see how tasty this is has a very good flavor that really would be a good barbecue sauce on chicken or anything that is a good sauce turned out real well really did and again, this is Around the House with Kay and Tom, and this is Coca-Cola Pork Chops. Come back to see me again. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a good day. I just ate one of these pork chops, and that sauce is so good. That it is just fantastic sauce. I should have mentioned that you can bake in an oven. You don't have to have a ninja to be able to bake this right here. I just happen to have one and it's right here convenient. But you can just bake this in your oven just like I did in the Ninja. And again, around the house for Kay and Tom.